Born in Paris in 1860, Leroy's formative years were spent in Odessa due to his father's business interests, fostering a deep fascination and early immersion in Eastern cultures. His upbringing in Odessa until the age of 17 significantly shaped his artistic inclinations and captivated his imagination with the allure of the Orient, manifesting prominently in his later works. Returning to Paris, Leroy pursued his artistic education at the renowned École des Beaux-Arts. Here, he crossed paths with Georges Landel, an Orientalist painter whose friendship became a lifelong influence on Leroy's artistic journey. Making his exhibition debut in 1882, Leroy swiftly gained recognition and was awarded a medal, marking the commencement of a promising artistic career. Embarking on a transformative voyage in 1885, Leroy traveled extensively to Turkey and Egypt in the company of Landell and Landell's father. This trip became a pivotal moment, igniting Leroy's deeper exploration and understanding of Oriental culture. Subsequent trips to Tunisia and Algeria during the late 1880s and 1890s further enriched Leroy's artistic palette. His keen interest in these regions led him to study the Arabic language, a significant facet that influenced his artistic portrayal of Oriental themes. In 1893, Leroy played a pivotal role as one of the founding members of the Société des Peintres Orientalistes Français. This society aimed to advocate for Orientalist art, organize exhibitions, and support artists interested in exploring the Orient. Leroy's contribution extended beyond mere membership. He designed the society's emblem. Incorporating symbols like the crescent moon, the star of David, and the hand of Fatima, the emblem symbolized an integration of cultural elements and served as a representation of the Frenchmen's dream of cultural synthesis amidst their status as outsiders. Throughout his career, Leroy delved into a spectrum of artistic expressions. He painted both Orientalist scenes and religious themes, demonstrating versatility across different mediums such as oils, watercolors, and lithographs. Notably, Leroy's Portrait de sa Mère, a parody of Whistler's Portrait of the Painter's Mother, claimed the prestigious Prix du Salon in 1884, solidifying his artistic prowess and innovation. Leroy's profound influence on Orientalist artistry and his knack for seamlessly intertwining diverse cultural elements in his creations left an indelible mark on the French artistic landscape of the time. His ability to capture the essence of Oriental culture while blending it with Western artistic techniques helped shape and define the imagery of the Orient in French painting, leaving a lasting legacy in the realm of Orientalist art. 